SpaceX just launched Crew-5 humans into space for the first time. The groundbreaking Crew-5 mission from SpaceX is on its way to the International Space Station ISS. SpaceX launched four people to the ISS from Florida, as Elon Musk's company maintains a steady pace of crewed missions. SpaceX has gained international attention for a number of historic achievements. It is the only private company capable of recovering a spacecraft from low Earth orbit, and our Dragon spacecraft became the first commercial spacecraft to deliver cargo to and from the International Space Station in 2012. Musk, founder of SpaceX at the age of 30, made his first fortune by selling two successful companies, Zip2, which he sold for $307 million in 1999, and PayPal, which eBay purchased for $1.5 billion in 2002, according to the New York Times. Musk decided that his next major project would be a privately funded space company. Musk first proposed sending a greenhouse to Mars, dubbed the Mars Oasis. His goal was to pique public interest in exploration while also providing a scientific base on Mars. He spent a third of his reported fortune, $100 million, to get SpaceX up and running. There was skepticism that he would be successful, which persisted throughout SpaceX's early years. After working privately on a spacecraft for 18 months, SpaceX unveiled the Dragon in 2006. Musk reportedly named the spacecraft Puff the Magic Dragon after a 1960s song by the folk group Peter, Paul and Mary. He claimed he chose the name because critics thought his spaceflight goals were unrealistic. SpaceX is the only company working not only on the holy grail of spaceflight, full and rapid reusability, but also on it with some urgency. Until SpaceX arrived, no one was making a concerted effort to recover their boosters. The SpaceX shuttle was held up as an example of why it was not feasible in practice, with the argument that we tried it with the STS and the price was just as high as a single-use system. Other attempts, such as the McDonnell Douglas DCX and X-33, as well as the stillborn Venture Star, were all SSTOs, single stage to orbit, that failed due to a lack of funding after it became clear that their payload was unsuitable. On May 30th, 2020, the company launched its first two astronauts to the International Space Station aboard the SpaceX Crew Dragon, and it has since launched several more crews on behalf of NASA and other organizations. This recent mission, known as Crew-5, will bring the group up to the ISS for a six-month stay. This mission is SpaceX's fifth operational crew launch for NASA and the company's eighth human spaceflight in just over two years. A Dragon capsule carrying four Crew-5 astronauts lifted off atop a Falcon 9 rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center's historic launch pad 39A on October 5th at noon EDT, beginning a roughly 29-hour journey to the orbiting lab. When T-Zero was struck on an instantaneous launch window, the nine Merlin engines that power the Falcon 9's first stage roared to life, lifting the 230-foot-tall rocket off the pad. Two minutes and 40 seconds into the flight, those engines shut down and the Falcon 9 upper stage separated from the first stage booster. Endurance separated from the upper stage as planned 12 minutes after liftoff, beginning its long solo chase of the ISS. It was a smooth ride, and I see all three happy faces here to be back in zero G, Wakata told Mission Control shortly after reaching that milestone. I appreciate it so much. After separating from the upper stage, the Falcon 9 first stage was very busy. The booster landed on Just Read the Instructions, a SpaceX drone ship stationed in the Atlantic Ocean off the Florida coast about 9.5 minutes after launch. It was the first landing for this specific booster, which made its first spaceflight today. The booster gleamed bright white on the launch pad, which was unusual, given that most SpaceX rockets these days are soot-blackened veterans with multiple missions under their belts. Such reuse enables SpaceX to increase its efficiency and achieve remarkable launch cadences. Crew-5 was Elon Musk's company's 44th orbital launch of 2022, and SpaceX has two more liftoffs scheduled in the near future. It intends to launch a large number of its Starlink internet satellites from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California this afternoon, followed by two commercial communication satellites from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station on October 6th. NASA's Nicole Mann and Josh Casada, as well as Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata and cosmonaut Anna Kikina are among the four space flyers. Mann became the first Native American woman to reach the final frontier today, and Kikina became the first Russian to fly on a private American spacecraft. The mission, which includes some historic firsts, is progressing even as geopolitical tensions rise on the ground. I am very proud to represent Native Americans and my heritage, Mann said on October 1st, shortly after the Crew-5 astronauts arrived at KSC. 
we all come from very different backgrounds. We all come from different educational backgrounds and job specialties, and it's wonderful to see everyone coming together. During the same event, Kikina thanked NASA, SpaceX, and Russian space officials for their contributions to the Crew-5 mission. We'll do our job the best way we know how. Happy, she exclaimed. After reaching orbit, NASA released a video of the crew aboard their capsule, expressing their delight as they explained they had brought along a freefall indicator, a small stuffed doll in the likeness of Albert Einstein. The toy was left floating around the cabin to indicate that the crew had reached weightlessness. Casada explained in a dispatch from the Crew Dragon spacecraft that Einstein, who first conceptualized the theory of relativity, had the happiest thought of his entire life when he realized that a person in freefall can feel their own weight. We live in the same world, the same universe. We sometimes have very different experiences than our neighbors. That is something we should all keep in mind and keep doing amazing things, Casada said, with Kikina pumping her fist as he spoke, and do it as a group. Phew, it was a smooth ride uphill, Mann said shortly after reaching orbit today. We have three rookies who are overjoyed to be in space right now. SpaceX's crew launches are also increasing in number. Crew-5 is the company's eighth astronaut mission, with two more set to launch before the end of spring 2023. SpaceX also launched the Orbital Tourism missions Inspiration4 and Axe-1 in September 2021 and April of this year, respectively, for NASA. In addition to NASA's five contracted flights to the ISS, SpaceX flew the crewed Demo-2 test mission to the International Space Station in 2020. Except for Wakata, all of the Crew-5 astronauts have never been in space before. Crew-5 is the Japanese astronaut's fifth space launch, and Endurance is his first crew-rated spacecraft. Kikina is also the first Russian to join a SpaceX mission as part of a ride-sharing agreement signed in July 2022 between NASA and Russia's space agency, Roscosmos. Her participation in the flight is the latest clear indication that, despite mounting tensions over Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the decades-long US-Russia space partnership will continue, at least for the time being. NASA officials have stated repeatedly that joint operations with Russia on the International Space Station, where the two countries are the primary operators, will remain isolated from the fray. Kikina's flight comes just a few weeks after NASA's Dr. Frank Rubio launched to the International Space Station aboard a Roscosmos Soyuz capsule. What's notable about this flight? It's nothing new for NASA astronauts to be launched to the International Space Station aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. After NASA retired its space shuttle program in 2011, the space agency worked with SpaceX for years to transition the task of transporting people to and from the space station. Crew-5 was supposed to launch on Monday, October 3rd, but NASA and SpaceX delayed it by two days due to Hurricane Ian. The storm also had an effect on NASA's much-anticipated Artemis I moon mission, which had to roll off KSC's Pad 39B to avoid the storm. Artemis I was supposed to launch on September 27th, but NASA is now planning a launch between November 12th and November 27th. SpaceX has provided a platform for several historic firsts, with the return of astronaut launches from US soil. For example, the Crew-4 Dragon mission carried NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins, the first black woman to join the ISS crew. Man, a registered member of the Wailaki tribe of the Round Valley Reservation, became the first Native American woman to travel to orbit on this flight. Man, as commander, will be responsible for keeping the spacecraft on track from launch to docking with the ISS, and then again when it returns home with the four Crew-5 astronauts next year. A woman has never been the commander of a SpaceX mission, though a couple of women served in that capacity during the Space Shuttle program. The crew will join the seven astronauts already aboard the ISS, which includes four NASA astronauts, one European Space Agency astronaut, and two Russian cosmonauts. There will be a handover period, during which the current ISS crew will assist the newly arrived astronauts in settling in before a separate Crew Dragon spacecraft returns the four astronauts from SpaceX's Crew-4 mission home. The Crew-5 astronauts will then go to work, conducting spacewalks, exits from the ISS to maintain the space station's exterior, as well as conducting more than 200 science experiments. Crew-5 is expected to return to Earth in about five months. Let's wait and see what updates we receive in the coming months.